On paper at least, what we could be looking at is major changes to the UK's climate policy in the coming decades. With one eye on establishing her legacy beyond the ongoing Brexit chaos, Theresa May's announced legislation committing Britain to reaching net zero carbon emissions by 2050. This is about long-term climate targets. We're proud of the world leading record we have, but I absolutely agree that it is vital that we continue this work and make sure that we protect our planet for generations to come. If passed, it would make Britain the first of the G7 group of major economies to put a net zero target into law. In other words, balancing carbon dioxide emissions with carbon removal measures, or simply eliminating emissions altogether. But the leader of the opposition sounded sceptical, insisting the May government's record on supporting efforts to combat climate change was poor. Another sector that has been failed by the government is that of the renewables industry. Solar installations are down by 94%. Onshore wind coming to a grinding halt. The government's advisory committee on climate change recommended the net zero target last month, saying if other countries followed suit, there was a 50-50 chance of staying below the recommended temperature rise of no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2100, as agreed under the Paris Climate Accords. It would almost certainly mean people eating less meat and dairy and taking fewer flights. Any remaining pollution would need to be offset through carbon cutting measures such as large scale tree planting. Campaigners who've been pushing the government to declare a climate crisis are not impressed. They want a net zero target of 2025. The UN General Secretary said if by the end of next year we don't start radically cutting our carbon emissions, humanity faces extinction. So that's our answer to them. You can't gamble with our kids' futures, and that's what a target of 2050 does. So while some say the government's move is a bold one, many question whether there's the political will to force through the huge changes needed to meet their targets. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.